Hi there, everybody. <clears throat> this is going to be a really, really quick video because I just wanted to show something that I had to do uh, in hopes that maybe it'll help somebody else out there at some stage in their lives. <clears throat> I have been working on getting new countertops put in, and these are the old ones that I had to remove. Um, and in so doing, I've been going and coming a lot to hardware stores to pick up parts for plumbing because I've got plumbing issues as a result of these new sinks because they're not the same. It's been a joy. But in and amongst that process, uh, my garage door broke. <laughs> it's amazing. My garage door broke. So uh, normally I would film all the whole process and things, but you know, today's not that day. So I fixed it and I wanted to show you what I did to fix it because... You know, it's late at night and I need my dadgum garage door to function, and it does. I didn't have time to call anybody. What I really need to do is just buy a whole new unit up there. Um, but I'm not doing that, because I fixed it. So let me show you what I did. First things first. Mm, the whole top of this thing broke off. Like this, it broke off completely. I mean, it was gone. It was sheared right at the top of this thing there. Uh, so what I did was, and this is something that not many folks will have the ability to do, but I took the shaft out of the motor, the whole thing. So this whole shaft right there, I took it out uh, and I re-welded the top onto it. All right, re-welded the top onto it, cleaned it up, made it look nice, and I saw why it broke off. And the reason it broke off is because the top plate there, if you can tell how oblong it is, I'm not sure if you can or not, but right in there right in there. See, it's oblong. Uh, th there was no bearing surface. So it was just the uh, the steel shaft grinding against the metal top of this thing, and it cut it off. It, it cut the wheel off. So what I did was, can you see the two bearings on there now? One there, one right there. I drilled uh, two holes in it, and I took me a couple of bolts, and a couple of bearings that I had sitting around, and I built a bearing surface for that shaft to ride on so it can spin as much as it wants to without shearing itself in half again, um, which is good. Part two of this, and really the reason I'm putting this video up, is because this whole shaft, after I had fixed it, the whole shaft wanted to shift up out of the machine. Apparently when it broke, it broke something else. I don't know what else it broke. This whole shaft was wanting to push up out of the machine uh, and it was riding up to this plastic bearing on this little carrier right here. Okay, this little carrier, the whole shaft is riding up, which it can no longer do because if you look, there's a pin in it right there. You see that pin? It's just as shiny as shiny can be because I just made it, all right? Um, I knew no other way to fix this thing. So what I did was I drilled a hole right through the middle of this shaft it's a two millimeter hole, and I had an old um, piece of hardened steel rod that was two millimeters diameter, and I trimmed it down to make a pin so it goes all the way through to the opposing side. I, I doubt you can see the other side of this thing, but I assure you it goes all the way through to the other side um, so that now the pin rides on the carrier, preventing the shaft from pushing up out of the carrier. So now this carrier here has the burden of the shaft on it. So that pin, which is in there very tight, uh, rides on the carrier to prevent the shaft from coming up out of the machine. And now the garage door works like a charm. So that's how I fixed it. I fixed it by welding the shaft back together, building a bearing surface for the shaft to ride on. And then because the shaft was pushing up out of the machine there, I put a pin right through the shaft uh, so that it could no longer rise up out of the machine. So that right there with my LiftMaster Professional, probably the original garage door opener for my house, that's how I fixed it. Um, probably not the best way. The best way is to replace the dead gum thing, but it works and it's late at night, so I'm not complaining. Have a good one.